one in the same. But uh, anyway, they're addicted to it or they think they're addicted to it. And if you see them when they've got a real drink in them, they're very, very belligerent about people saying, that's enough, you've had enough. Enough! Ah, all that kind of idea. You know, it brings out the dafty in them. So their judgment's affected. Obviously, smoking, your judgment's not affected. Alistair Campbell, the wonderful Alistair Campbell. Hello there, China. Hello, Alistair. How are we? Uh, so there we go. j Dog says, I'm obviously not 18 yet, so I can't drink massively yet. I haven't had a drink, but would like a small one. You have to try it first to know you don't like it. Well, I spoke to a gentleman recently who was quite elderly. And he said, you know, Scotty, I've never, ever even tasted alcohol. I said, well, to be honest with you, you haven't missed much. So there you are. It's less fashionable than it was. Scotty, I don't believe it was alcohol Jesus turned into wine. It was the fruit of the vine, unfermented wine. Alcohol is a drug. It should be banned. I agree, Eddie. Yes, yes. I remember a Scot summing it up brilliantly, a typical Scot. The Scots, you know, when the chips are down, the Scots can really sum things up quite beautifully. And this chap said, ah, well, it's, uh, it drinks, I suppose, all right, until it gets a hoddy here, until it gets a hoddy here. And I thought, wow, now you are talking, you know. And absolutely, you know, it's a very succinct summation. So there were, I think you'll be right, Eddie. I mean, I don't think that the wine would be fermented in those days, although it does tell us in, uh, is it Leviticus? Wine shall turn a man to poverty and his clothes to rags. You know, that sort of idea. So there we go. I must confess, I mean, I, I, I used to take a refreshment um, and I just made a decision that that was it. And uh, it was a very smart move, I can tell you. So there you are. So wonderful stuff. So I would, I would, I would strongly recommend it. There we are. Josh is coming. Yes, all right, Josh. We get that now. Some people. There we are. Drink with their friends in secret. Other days, destroying the livers before they're even fully developed. You're quite right, J Dog. The young liver does not develop for some time. The liver is also a very resilient organ because it's the body's factory. So it deals with all the fats and the toxins and the poisons and all the rubbish that might be in processed food. And uh, yeah, Josh, all right, if you keep on with that, I'll just have to ban you, Josh. We don't want that, do we? So there we go. So our poor Josh hasn't got the message. He's not got the message at all. There we are. Maybe I have to ban him. I'll tell you what we'll do with you, Josh. We'll put you in time out till you calm down rather than just dump you completely because I don't you know what you're doing. Right. You know, you might do. There we are. Eddie Doyle, quite right. If you could keep on top of him and try and explain to him what the show's about that we don't do all that nonsense, that would be absolutely fantastic. I'll stop. Sorry, says Josh. Absolutely, Josh. You know, I mean, the joke was the joke. We've done it. I said the word, and uh, that's been done now. And spamming, you know, is a real big no-no. This is for grown-up, mature, sensible people. Yeah, we don't have any particular age. You can watch from, you know, whatever it is, until you're 99, but uh, sensible, sensible. Proverbs 23 gives a clear description of alcohol abuse. Absolutely, Alistair Campbell, but I'm pretty sure there's some good stuff in Leviticus. There are, oh, Josh, what a shame. Right, Zach's going to have to go. Zach's banned. There we are. End of Zach. Right, that's fine. Yes, quite right, Eddie. He's gone. Zach's gone. We'll never hear of Zach again because he thought he would do some spamming. Oh, dear, 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 dear. And Josh is at it. So Josh is getting a ban as well. There we are. Good. Right, Josh is gone. No more Josh. Right, they don't understand sometimes the young people, so they think they'll cheek up, you know, be a wee bit silly. Right, that's that. We haven't time for any of that nonsense, though. We've got too much to talk about. Uh, Craig Cochran, you went a bit quiet there when you said, why are you buying alcohol? 
There we are. That's why. Right. What have we got here? 